What's up guys? Guess what I found? A box of 2020 Heritage. Yes, it's release day. And yes, it took me several trips to the card shop because they didn't come in early. It's a it's an incredibly snowy day. There's a lot of accidents. The plow trucks already came and went, but I made it out. So what do we have here? 2020 Heritage. And I think most people know a lot about this. This is, uh, these are throwback cards. It's featuring the 71 design. We're just gonna get right into it because I can't stand it anymore. Okay, here we go, box topper. We'll save that for last. Here's the design. Nice little pack action there. And of course the odds, because I love looking at the odds. And also the no purchase purchase necessary info. Okay, let's get to ripping. Who are we looking for? Who am I looking for? Bo, of course. Bo, my boy. Looking for the Bo show. Also looking for Lux, Jordan. What do we got? We got a backwards card. So there's all kinds of crazy cards to look for here. Um, we've got all kinds of parallels. I don't know what's with the flipped around one. I better get a look at the number so I can... So 13, that's how you can tell short prints a lot is look at the number on the bottom. It is 13. Got Dylan Cease, a little rookie card there. Candlestick Park, Willie Mays. So with the heritage stuff, pretty much every pack you're gonna get a little something something. Whether that be a insert or an autograph or a relic, anything like that. Now these boxes have one autograph or relic per box. So you're not guaranteed anything crazy. You're not guaranteed the auto. Yeah, new age performers, Bow Show. Stand worthy. That's a stand worthy card. So I'm looking for, like I said, the parallels. I think there's a, a white name variant or something like that but it looks like they all have different color names it's always rough on your first box of heritage trying to figure out what's going on with the uh the parallels and the short prints and everything like that big set 500 card set it's enormous see what i mean every pack you kind of get something the astros card there but with heritage you're looking for rookies because rookies in parallels because it's like i said earlier you get one autograph or relic oh here we go here's something that looks like a flip stock is that a flip stock that's a something something it is flip stock so we got the glossy back and the rough front let's compare so this is what the stock normally looks like on the back you can see it's a little rough on the back, but this one is a flip stock. So Mondesi flip stock. I'm interested to see how rare those are. Don't want to forget about these, the rest of these guys. How rare are they? Flip stock. Whoa. One out of 661. Wow. That's really rare. All right. good start flashback Steve Carlton sorry if that camera was off a little bit I'm trying to hurry I'm trying to get all this done get this uploaded quickly so that people can see what they're in for before they buy a box what is my opinion of heritage in general I like it I especially like the 71 design very nostalgic got a little Dustin May and Gavin Luck action Gavin Lux. That's cool. Put that up there. And as you can already tell, these cards are very hard to get in top condition, in mint condition, in excellent shape because of the black border. So that's going to be something that you have to look out for. If you're buying these cards on eBay, singles or whatever, keep a really good eye out on the edges and the corners because they are going to be tough to grade out. Nothing in here? 
Nothing? What is that? No. Almost looked like a like a flip stock, but that would be ridiculous to have two of them. Also, in the past, they've had hot boxes. I don't know if they do this year. I haven't read anything about it or heard anybody talk about the hot boxes. So you're looking for real one autographs out of here. That's what I would like. A real one auto. So instead of these facsimile signatures, you actually get an auto. And they have different colored ones too. I think it's the red. They're usually numbered to like 70 something. So those are really rare, highly desirable, especially if you get the rookies. Got a Garrett Cole here. Insert. So let me know in the comments below, are you guys gonna buy some of this? Are you looking forward to it? What's your favorite release of the year? I know a lot of people look forward to Heritage. Got a sweet flashback, Nolan Ryan. Is anybody concerned about the grading? I've heard some people talk about it. Oh, and by the way, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. You'll like the content, you'll like what I do. Ring the little bell. That way you get notified. Got to get those notifications. Batting leaders. Yelich, Marte, Rendon. Sweet Aaron Judge. And usually it's about 80% of these boxes have relics. So when you actually do get that auto, man, does it feel good. They also have error variation cards too. That's going to be tough to find, the little error, ver error variations. But they have chrome cards. The chromes are desirable. Keep your eye open for the chromes. What do we have here? Is this something? Seems like something. I don't know if it is. It's just in the middle. Really tough to tell. Haven't got any of the big rookies yet. How about a Yordan? I mean, I got that bow, but I'd like a Yordan. Got the Lux, but not the real cards. Come on, Yordan. So as soon as I find some of this retail, which will probably be Friday, because my Walmart stocks on Fridays, I will do a value video to compare the retail stuff with the Heritage Hobby Boxes. Sweet Maze, Willie Maze there. And we'll find out what is the best format for your money. Everybody wants to know that. Should I buy a hobby box? Should I buy a retail? A lot of people like the retail version of this because, hey, there's a sweet Keston Cup card. Because it's expensive for a box. These are going to run you about 100 bucks, maybe 90 if you get lucky. But there's a bow. Loving that. Bow show. But yeah, these are on about a hundred bucks. And since you only get the relic most of the time, people resort to retail because it's usually a, a better dollar per kind of deal. Dollar per card, dollar per whatever. But there are things that are only available in the hobby boxes. Got a then and now, Torre and Rendon. Nimmo. So your bang, the bang for your buck thing. Going to plug all the numbers into a spreadsheet. Oh, there's something. There's a schmancy. There's our relic. Max Kepler. Game used memorabilia. And these cards are not super popular. Um, you can kind of, they're kind of a dime a dozen. The relics. Unless you get somebody good, you know, you get a Yordan, good rookie, maybe a Trout, something like that. Those always hold good value. But just the common ones, like the Kepler, not going to fetch a high dollar. What do we got? Come on, come on, give me something big. Catel Marte, New Age Performers. Winding down. Man, I'm flying through this. 
But they're kind of, oh, there's a little mini card. Albert Pujols. Numbered to 100. That's pretty sweet. Pujols. Future Hall of Famer. Guaranteed. One of the greatest of all time. The Machine. So let me know what you guys got in your boxes. I always like hearing from you guys. Seeing uh, who pulled some real bangers. Strikerbreaks.com is my website. If you want to get into breaks, I don't do them very often. Maybe a couple a week if I'm lucky. And subscribe to Patreon. And I, I let all the patrons, also known as slammers, I let all the patrons know first when I list a break. So if you're interested in, in getting in on one of these, Patreon. Strikerbreaks.com. Anything crazy. Anything crazy. Come on, baby. Where's A. Yordan? Where's A. Yordan? Last pack, and then we got the box topper. Come on, Yordan. Nope. Just, just the doors. Flashback. Jim Morrison card. Pre, pre giant beard and weight gain. Well, that's it. Kind of an uneventful box. I think I think these can have autos on them though. So maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, got a Yelich. Not a real auto, but nice card nonetheless. I really like that. This will have to make a make an appearance in the background for a little while. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Share, subscribe, like, all the good stuff. I will catch you later.